Hey guys, welcome to Mother's Tarot. We're going to have a flick through of the Wild Woman Oracle. It says on the front, awaken your true, free and soulful self. And it's Cheyenne Zarate, is it? I could be saying that way wrong. It's too squiggly. And they've got it written all in anyway. Yeah, she, Cheyenne Serrati. So she's a pen and ink artist from Canada who's of Chilean, Ukrainian and Scottish descent. Okay, so you get quite a chunk here. This is the inside of the box. It comes in a sturdy two-piece box by Rockpool. That's the inside design. That's the, you get quite a beefy book. We'll go into that in a minute. And then you get your card, so that's the back of the box there. So the fun thing about these, they're like a rosy, goldy, brassy colour um, deck. They come already edged. Let's zoom us in a little bit. So they already come edged. Now last night when I pulled them out and looked at them in the car, under the light in the car, that looked like a dark, dark green, but it just looked like a blacky grey on here now so I'm not entirely sure this is the box it is a bit glossy but not not far too much not so much it's going to become like a massive issue so I'm hoping you can see these so we've got rewilding with Grandmother Moon for number one, and it's rewilding. The very detailed these cards. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about them from being like a two tony kind of colour. Um, and then I seen a card in it, and I'll show you when I get to it. Um, and I was just like, yeah, no, no, this one's for me. So rewilding with Grandmother Moon. So you get like a bit of a question with every card and then obviously you get um, the message um, that goes along with it. And then it talks about the symbolism that you see in the card as well. So for rewilding with Grandmother Moon rewilding, the question is, what are the ideals, values and beliefs that are most innate and authentic to me? So I've got number two, which is Lilith, the first feminist, autonomy. I just want to bring this up so I can show you the detail in these cards. So much detail. Now on that card, I did <clears throat> I did notice, and I was considering sending it back, but I'm not going to bother. Um, where they've edged it, it was just on this one card. Don't know if you can see it's gone over the edging, so it's kind of smeared. Oh. I don't know how you're going to be able to see that. It's kind of smeared onto the front, but it's just that one card that it's done it on. So. It's by the by, I've had worse. <laughs> so I've got November Sanctuary and the keyword is Sanctuary. Absolutely stunning cards, all of them. I absolutely love these. And you know, I think if they were in like full colour or anything, I don't think they would, um, I don't think they'd look as pretty. I think it'd detract from it. I have to excuse my nails, I've been try to pick it off because I've run out of uh, gel remover so 
So we have a Yemea, Mother of All, with Divine Care. Vasilisa the Wise with Intuition. I apologise if you can hear me dog chomping on something behind me. Blessed Jewel with Hope. Now there is, um, where you can see writing on the cards, um, just from a quick nosy through last night, um, it does tell you what it says on the cards. See if we can get this one up. Um, it does tell you what it says on the card. Trying to be innocent, right. Um, oh, it did on the other one. I don't know if it does on this one. Because of the time for you, you find yourself. Oh. No, I don't think it does on this one. But <clears throat> if you have good eyes, you'd probably be able to read that. Voice of the Outcasts, Advocacy. And that's Esmeralda, Quasimodo and Elber Elder Esmeralda, Weaver of the Web of Life, Cooperation. Bramwen of the Starlet Ostara, A New Beginning. Creatrix, Creativity. Artemis of the Wild, Mercer. The Goddess Incarnate, Body Positivity. Now, when I got, when I zoomed in on this with my phone camera, I could read that myself, but I think it does tell you what it says in the book on this one. I think it says on this bit, I look exactly the way I am supposed to. I know. Let me get it up. I know this because this is the way the goddess made me. And up on the top bit there, it says, My body is a gift. I trust it with love and respect. So you can read it if you get yourself right, <laughs> right up to it. I don't know if it's just my eyes. My eyes don't want to focus on the little words. So Anastasia, self discovery. Peace of the goddess, inner peace. Freya, the lady of love and war, with self love. Season of the Witch with Magic, and it was this card, because if you look up here, it says, We are the weirdos, mister, and it's like a, a nod to um, The Craft, the film The Craft. Mm. 
I just love that card. So I've got Rise of the Inner Warrior with Solidarity. Witch of the Winter Woods with Healing. Persephone with Maturity. Call of the Siren with Sexuality. Let me stop it. Morrigan with Sovereignty. I mean, in these cards, there's so many little symbols and stuff that you could dive into as well. <clears throat> Bastet and Sh Sh Sekhmet. <laughs> that was never going to come out. <laughs> oh, that was never going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Ferocious feminine. The Sacred Rebel with Humility. I love even though it's like in like monotone colours, I love how it's like, it's, if you look at the pictures, it's like really cosy pictures, aren't they? It's like she's tucked away in a bedroom with all the bits and bobs and stuff. And I just think it's, I like it. And we do get a variation of people as well in this. So we've got Medusa with Sacred Rage. Matawaka's Truth with Reconciliation. Stop. Witching Hour Tea with Introspection. I love that one as well. Scardy with Authenticity. A Moonlit Dance, Feminine Energy. January's Rebirth. And rebirth. I am whole, wholeness. Time of the Black, Jagu Black Jaguar destruction. I'm wondering if that's a play on like the destruction of the animal. Um, what it's saying destruction. Right there. Are they on the extinct list? Or going on to the extinct list, I should say. Any the fairy queen protection. Hecate, Queen of the Crossroads, the Unknown. The Inner Priestess. Divine Service. 
Bonnie. Bonnie. Home at last, aloneness. Marana, goddess of death, of death. And that's, yeah, 36. So we get 36 cards, as I say, it's edged in this. It's like a grey, it's like a grey black. I can't even describe it. But last night when the light hit it in my car, it looked like a green colour. So it's an unusual colour. Pretty though. And that's the backs. I only side shuffle, I don't rifle shuffle. Put the shuffle well like that. I don't feel like I'm gonna bend the cards because a lot of them, when they shuffle like that, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna snap the card now. I don't feel like that at all with this one. The overhand well. So they've got a bit of a gloss to them, but they're not like high gloss. And they're nice and slippery, they slide over each other, so I think you'd be able to fan them well. So let's get a card to read. Rise of the Inner Warrior. Seventeen. So the question it's posing to you: How can I, in solidarity with others, direct my passion and genius towards fighting against oppression? So the message: You are being called to tap into the heart of the goddess Oya and the mind of the activist Angela Davis to become the embodiment of a, of a mature warrior who fights for something greater than yourself. Recognise that you cannot be free when others are oppressed and stand in solidarity with others who possess the same commitment to a particular cause. Women, especially minority women, have often been excluded from being identified with the warrior as this archetype is primar primarily associated with men and masculinity throughout the ages. What's more, some women continue to suffer under the rule of the shadow warrior who revels in violence and misogyny. Yet the mature warrior consciousness is rising, particularly in those who historically have been oppressed and silenced and is compelling us to proclaim within I am responsible for what happens here and I must do what I can to make a better world for myself and others. So the symbolism, both Angela Davis, American activist, former Black Panther, scholar and author, and Anya, West African Yoruban goddess of Arusha, Arusha, of lightning, destructive rainstorms, fire, female leadership and transformation are two different yet connected embodiments of the warrior archetype associated with the destructive force of Mother Earth and the instinctual primal passion. <laughs> Sorry, that was not going to come out. Ooh, instinctual primal passion that burns within our spirit. Anya is short-tempered and quick to cut through ties and deceit with her machete as opposed to the warrior who fights with weapons. Angela Davis fights with the power of mind. She personifies the genius of the warrior, which is the ability to think in ways we have not been taught. So on the card itself here, we have, I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things I cannot accept, Angela Davis. And then on, on your side, we have, I shook you rock, and I, I shock you and I rock you. I clear the way for 
what is to come i can be i can't read that i can be slight or stupendous brief or long letting uproaring and uprising what i can't be is ignored oh my eyes don't want to focus on that tiny writing but I think on most of them where it has got the writing on it, you can, if you if you can get right close to it, you can make out what it's saying or you could get a magnifying glass over it. Because even like the books, you can see. You can see what it says on it, but it, the gorgeous cards. Absolutely stunning. Never noticed the spider on this card. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. There is actually a spider on it. So that is the Wild Woman Oracle by Sharon Serata. If I'm butchering that name, I apologise. Thank you.